Here is an example where we can use Stokes' theorem to calculate something. So our problem is to calculate the integral over c of f dot dr, where c is the curve given by r of t equals cosine t comma zero comma sine t as t goes from zero to two pi. In other words, this is the unit circle in the xz plane oriented as described by this equation. And f is the vector field sine of x cubed plus c cubed comma sine of y cubed comma sine of z cubed minus x cubed. Now, if we do this directly, we get the integral from zero to two pi of this vector field um, evaluated at cosine t comma zero comma sine t dot product with r prime of t. And we're gonna get stuff in here like sine of cosine cubed t. Um, and that's gonna be sort of impossible to integrate. However, we can use Stokes theorem to instead of evaluating this integral over the curve, we can do a different integral over a surface. So we note that C is the unit circle in the XC plane. So C is the boundary of S, where S is the unit disk in the XC plane. So let's draw the picture. So here is the curve C. And which way is it oriented? Well, if we put t equals zero, we have the point zero, sorry, one comma zero comma zero. So this is t equals zero. If we increase t a little bit, then the um, x-coordinate is going down and the z-coordinate is going up. So it's oriented this way. And here is our surface S. Now which orientation should S have in order for C to be positively oriented as its boundary? Well, the answer is the unit normal has to point to the left in the negative y direction. So um, the unit normal that determines the orientation of s is 0 comma minus 1 comma 0. And with this choice, we get that c is positively oriented. OK. And so the integral over c of f dot ds, well, since this surface is just a region in the xz plane, I can do a double integral in the xz plane. So it's the double integral over the region where x squared plus c squared is less than or equal to 1 of the curl of f, so del cross f, dot 0 comma minus 1 comma 0 dA. Now what's the curl of f? Well, so let's evaluate this. So this is equal to something. So I don't care what the x component is because I'm dotting it with this vector whose only non-zero component is the y component. And the y component of the curl um, is d dx of this minus d dz of this. So um, sorry, d dz of this minus d dx of that. So it's d dz of sine of x cubed plus c cubed minus d dx of sine of c cubed minus x cubed. And then there's a third component, which I also don't care about. So when I work this out, so now this sine x cubed disappears because I'm differentiating with respect to z. So you get a 3z squared over here, and I get a 3x squared over here, and this, this sine z cubed disappears because it's getting differentiated with respect to x. So this whole thing is 3x squared plus 3z squared. That is a lot nicer than what we had before. So this integral 
is the double integral over x squared plus c squared is less than or equal to 1 of, and I have to dot product with the vector 0 minus 1, 0, so I get minus 3x squared minus 3z squared dA. And now I can do polar coordinates. I mean, this is x and z, but you could, you could think of this as x and y. I mean, you could change z to y everywhere. And then this becomes a standard polar coordinate integral where theta goes from 0 to 2 pi, and r goes from 0 to 1, and my integrand is minus 3 r squared, and then I have the polar coordinate version of dA, which is r dr d theta. And so I can integrate this as usual. So um, this doesn't depend on theta, so I just multiply this by 2 pi, and the thing that I'm multiplying by 2 pi is minus 3 times the integral of r cubed from 0 to 1, so that's minus 3 fourths. And the final answer is minus 3 pi over 2. So in general, um, using Stokes' theorem, if you're trying to integrate a line integral over a curve, if that turns out to be difficult or impossible, you might be able to use Stokes' theorem to rewrite that as an easier integral over a surface. And conversely, if you have an integral over a surface, and if you happen to recognize that the vector field you're looking at is the curl of something, then you can replace that with the line integral over the boundary.